Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. We join now in a time of prayer. Let us pray. O oh, gracious, loving God, we thank you for your presence, your abiding pres presence with us in this life and in the life to come, that you are with us on the journey, that you are showing us the way to be your people, your resurrection people, Help us as we seek to be builders of your church, to be living stones, as we want to share that good news of Jesus in word and in deed. We also look out into the world in our journeys. We want to pray for those who are farmers, who are working the fields. We want to continue our prayers for frontline workers in the medical community for government leaders as they seek to do their best to, to provide guidance in this time as well during COVID-19. We also recognize that this is Mental Health Month and as we pray for health and healing, we include our prayers for those with physical and mental health issues. And again, we're thankful for those who work in that that area of our lives as well. And of course, we want to lift up our mothers and give thanks for them, for the unique place that they've played in our family life, in our church family life. And we ask blessings upon them at this time. Let us pause for a few moments down now to offer our own personal intercession and prayers at this time. Oh God, we ask you to now receive and bless our prayers that we bring before you. In the name of Jesus, our Christ, amen. Remembering the ministries of our churches that continue on, First Presbyterian Church of Lake Crystal, First Presbyterian Church of Casota, our wider church ministries in the Presbytery, and God's church around the world. We continue to be part of that. We thank you, God, for the stewardship that is part of our call to give as we have received from your blessings. May our gifts now be given in that spirit of love as we share the words and the deeds of Christ in our midst and beyond these walls. Amen. Let us join together as we share the prayer that Christ has taught us, the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. The closing hymn that we'll be singing today is Now Thank We All Our God.
And now as we close our worship, receive these words of benediction. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord be kind and gracious unto you. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. Alleluia. Amen.